Good morning. Buongiorno, bon matin, good tag, buenos dias. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, Internet. Good morning, world. Good morning, Lex. Good morning, Karin. Oh, excuse my cold in my nose. Good morning, everybody. How the devil are you? Apparently, there's nobody watching in yet. I can see Lex and Karin in the chat. It's very weird the way StreamYard works. Oh, hola. <laughs> Forgot about hola. I did buenos dias. I did a formal, a formal Spanish greeting. Good morning, Linda UK. Good morning, Jason Entwistle. How the devil are you all? I do hope you're weller than I. Weller than I is a brilliant bit of grammar, isn't it? Good morning, Chris B, Shazad, Sue, Auntie Sue and Deb Hughes. Good morning, everybody. I am full of a cold. Good morning. Oh, Lord. Good it's, it's shot off. It does that thing. Good morning, Bexify, Peter Ray. Good morning, Laurel, Catherine Graham. Good morning, Bumblebee. Thank you so much for my gift, Bumblebee. I'll come back to that in a second. Good morning, Misha's mum. Good morning, Phoebe. Uh, good morning, Claire James, Claire Count Juan. Good morning, DBG and the Monocle. Good morning, Caroline, Mrs. M. I think I've got you all. Good morning, Zoe Patrick. Good morning, Maurice Claire with Claire. I think I've got you all. Somebody hold the door shut for just two seconds. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. How lovely to see you all. I am full of a stinking cold, for those of you who asked. And this earring feels like it's falling out. Bear with. There we go. Full of a stinking cold. I've been coughing up and, and, and feeling sorry for myself all night. Somebody did not hold the door shut. Look, there's another Claire. Good morning, Claire Plant. That's Claire Count 2. Good morning. Uh, I think I said good morning, Zoe Patrick. We'll say it again just in case. Good morning, Kath Palmer, Jackie Watson, Tess Slimming World, South Southwest Slimming World, Tess SW, Claire Cat, Claire we've done Claire. Good morning, Darrell. Uh, good morning, Joan Morris. Good morning, T. Suzanne Davies. I think I'm there. I think I'm there. Hello, everybody. Um, firstly, Bumblebee sent me the most wonderful Reese's bouquet this week, which was I featured on my Instagram. Featured that sounds very popular. I put a picture, so I've got you know, put a picture on my Instagram, and I know it's, it's in this week's waffle as well. But while while you are here, Bumblebee, thank you so much for that. That was an amazing gift. Thank you. Oh, Peter says he's had the flu and sore throat on and off for two weeks. Oh, you have my sympathies, Peter, and I have your germs. I don't know how I could possibly have your germs. Although maybe there's just one cold and it goes, goes around and around and around. We all get it. Lex says, 40 people watching, but you said hi to about 78. <laughs> Good morning, Patricia. Mum of five sons. That makes 79. Oh, dear. It's a rotten cold, and I'm sorry you've had it, Peter. It is. It started last Sunday night. Felt the prickle in my nose last Sunday evening when I was um, editing the vlog, and I was like, oh, I'm going to have a cold. But it's taken all week just to progress to this point. So, blah. And at the moment, I'm all that kind of like, I don't feel very well, that bit. <laughs> But I did go to the car boot sale. So I thanked, thanked Bumblebee for her gift. And then while I'm here, um, I can't think of the lady's username. Um, this is my, my son's friend's mum, which is uh, Kelly and, and her partner, Jason. And I just for the second, for this moment, Black Widow, Black Widow on YouTube. I couldn't think of her username. Um, they stopped me at the car boot sale this morning, gave me this wonderful gift as well. So how lovely is that? Everybody's, um, everybody's cheering me up. Bless you all. I will be reached up to the eyeballs. So thank you so much for that, Kelly and Jason. That was a really lovely, lovely surprise at the car boot. Sales. I did threaten to eat it for breakfast, but I've managed to hold off. <laughs> uh, good morning, Bronwyn and Sally Kelly. I don't think I've missed. Oh, there's another Joan. Good morning, jo Joan Count too. We've got Joan Morris and, jo and Joan, who's just Joan. So, yeah, I went to the car, but I didn't spend a lot. I, I stood behind Josh while he was filling his bag. Josh Josh was there, JD Network reselling, and he was doing fill a bag for three quid, and I stood behind him and criticised everything he was putting in. <laughs> Just for shits and gigs, really. But I also did fill a bag for three quid. I did not fill my bag. This is my bag. Where's the, where's the flaming camera? This is my bag. And as you can see, it is only half full. Uh, good morning, Sammy Fizzy and Kimberly. I don't think I've missed anyone. I said good morning, Bronwyn, didn't I? Good morning again, Bronwyn, just in case. So mine's not full, but what I have got, I'm quite pleased with this is Cornish ware, isn't it? Where am I going? Cornish ware. Now, I think it's a cheese dome or a cake dome, and it would normally have had a plate that went with it, but I don't see any reason. Where the sodding hell is that camera? There. <laughs> don't see any reason why it would not sell on its own. Yeah, Kath's saying the camera's a bit high unless you're going to jump in front of face. It's a bit close to me as well. There we go. Um... 
I don't see any reason why that wouldn't sell on its own because you can use it with any plate or with any Cornish ware plate. So that went into my filler bag for £3. It's minging though. Look at the state of that. But yeah, I've, I've never managed to pick up Cornish blue and white stuff before. Lex says, question, if you are what you eat, are you Reese's and would you eat yourself? I probably am 90% Reese's by now due to the amount that I've consumed. And if I got stuck on a desert island, I'd start, certainly start on a leg. You'd start trimming down, wouldn't you? You'd start taking a bit off of each leg and, you know, and, and gradually shaping yourself into a more desirable f physique. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so he said Josh spent £3. He did not. He spent four. He spent £3 and then he went into the other barn and spent another pound. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's having to lie down now to get over it. <laughs> Have I said good morning to Carmen? I did. Carmen was first in with Lex all the way back there. Yeah. Happy birthday for Friday just gone, by the way, Karen. Everybody say happy birthday to Karen. Anyone not saying happy birthday to Karen in the chat down there? Where, where the hell? I can't do it. In the chat down there. In the chat down there. <laughs> say, good, say happy birthday to Karen for Friday. Oh, dear. No, Ian, you've just missed me being a dick. Good morning, Ian, the tap doctor. Kath says, yes, TNG green, but looks quite new Cornish wear. Like I said, I've never managed to pick it up before. So when it went into filler bag, I was quite pleased. It's got no markings, but I suppose the markings would have been on the base plate, wouldn't they, really? So there's bound to be something in it, isn't there? Yeah, Jason's saying TG green as well. So there you go. That, that's, that's a bit I didn't know. I just knew the Cornish wear a bit. Um, my chat's shot off. Uh, good morning, Saz Guest. People are saying happy birthday to Carmen, which is as it should be. Good morning, Antoinette Daly. Lovely to see you. Good morning, Claire James. Are you, were you Claire? I don't know where we are with our Claire's. I think Claire James is Claire count one. Yeah, I think we, I think we counted. I think, I think one Claire count two. Peter Ray says uh, Josh spent four pound more than him because his car boot wasn't on again due to the, the fact they had the fireworks and fair on the same field. I don't think I've missed any comments. Okay, so also in my bag for three pounds. Josh missed this. He'd already been round. He missed this jelly cat fuddle waddle fuddle waddle puppy. I think these are called. I wonder if it says on his thing. Sometimes it says on their label. I know he's fuddle waddle because I've had him before. No, it doesn't say on his label. But yeah, so he was in there for my three quid. He doesn't smell unclean. He smells a bit cupboardy, but he doesn't smell unclean. Claire says she has been counted. <laughs> Good morning, Donna the Brummy. I'm really looking forward to watching your growing up in the um, 70s and 80s video. I haven't watched it yet because it popped up on my feed last night after I'd gone to bed. But I'm really looking forward to watching that. I think that should be very entertaining. If you're not subscribed to Donna, by the way, go and do that. She's in the chat there. We're just in the, she's in the chat there. Go and, go and click the three dots next to her name and subscribe. Good morning, Andrea Turner. Lex says she spent £13.50 this morning. Mum of Five Sons says, that feeling when you've sold something, you can't find it, bin numbered, but in the wrong bin. Oh, I, had a, I sold a suit last week. Last Sunday, I went to the office to try and find this suit. And I looked, it was an autonomy suit. So I looked under A and then I looked in skirts in case I'd put it, because it was a skirt and jacket. I looked in skirts in case I'd put it in skirts. And then I looked on jackets and then I looked on the way and I couldn't find the damn thing. I ended up, I looked in trousers in case I just made a mistake and thought it was a trouser suit and put it in there. Could not find the damn thing anywhere. Went back three days later and it was in one of the places I'd already looked. So, <laughs> good morning, Lisa J. Good morning, Margaret Stewart and Julie Curry. Good morning, everybody. Lovely to see you all. Also in my bag for three quid, a pastimes mug. Excuse me, I'm going to cough. <coughs> Complaints to the cook can be hazardous to your health. That's a pastimes mug. I've, I've sold pastimes mugs, pastimes mugs in the past. In past times, um, don't know what what sort of value we're looking, but you know, seven to ten maybe, maybe more. This was unusual. I put this in because I was filling a bag. This is a, I would say this is it's definitely a homemade sampler because you can see it tell by the by the hanging loops at the top, but it's got really old cars embroidered on it. It's cross stitch. Got no idea when it was made. But it's quite nice. So I'll start at the top there. You've got the the Benz eighteen oh four. And then that one says the Dion Bouton 1904. I think it says 1904. Yeah, it does, yeah. I'm reading backwards. And then the Oldsmobile 1902. So they're old old American cars, aren't they, I think? I don't think the Oldsmobile was very popular here. Renault 1906. 
and what's that bottom one? Rolls Royce 1906 Silver Ghost. And then the very bottom one says Spooker 1906. And yeah, it's um, it would have been a hanging because it's got the loops at the top where you would have put a pole through it to hang it. I don't know how old it is. It's certainly been hand stitched by somebody. Whether it's been added onto this backing at some point, I don't know. But the actual stitch work itself is all in perfect condition. There's a little bit of damage to the backing there. But um, but yeah, just I chucked it in for sheer novelty value. But I've no idea where I'll even begin to research it. There we go. Interesting for three quid then. Catherine said mug count one. <laughs> Jeremy said, yeah, your mug. Where are we? I don't know if I've missed her. So good morning to Julie. Uh, good to say good morning to Lisa. Good morning, Lucy T. Uh, just catching up. Kath says it looks like a thick curtain. It's very, very thin, Kath. I would have thought it would have been a wall hanging rather than a curtain because it's that's that's the whole width of it there. So it's less than a foot wide and it's got three loops on the top. It looks like it may have had four loops and one loop may have disappeared. So it looks as though it would have gone just had a pole through the top to make it into a, a panel hanging. Yeah, Ian says, I like the car thing. A lot of time, indeed, it's huge amounts of time. You can't, let me just put the camera up. You can see that it's really beautifully cross-stitched, incredibly neat. Really, um, really, really nice job been done on it. Oh, so I get your nose now. So yeah, no idea where to be, begin with the search. You could write Claire Riley, Claire Count 3. And good morning, Lisa Fenn. Um, also, because I was just chucking stuff in, after all, I was supposed to be filling a bag, I chucked in two of the um, Kellogg's collector bowls. I've sold these in the past. They don't go for great amounts of money. Um, and I think I, I knocked the last ones down really cheap to get rid of them. But even so, when I'm chucking stuff in for three quid and you know it's got a little bit of value, you throw it in, don't you? Good morning, Buckle YNK Gilson. Good morning, Mandy Michelle, who's on her sunbed in Tenerife. Have you got decent weather, Mandy Michelle? I hope so. I really hope you've got sunshine. We've got, it's dried up here today and the sun is starting to break through a bit, but we've had a horrendously wet weekend so far. It's been absolutely issing it down constantly. Also into my bag for £3, I chucked in a pair of B&Q kitchen handles. These are the kind of things that surprise you when you buy them. You buy them because you think, oh, well, maybe somebody will want them. And then it turns out somebody has broken one of theirs or they didn't buy enough when they did their kitchen the first time and they've been looking for these and they're discontinued and blah, blah, blah. So in they went. These are antique brass finished T-bar handles from B&Q. And yeah, you never know. Also chucked in a taggy squeaky, which might just, might just go to Molly. Certainly Molly's on her way up the stairs and I just heard that, so I'm going to put it down and pretend I didn't. What? Well, I didn't have anything and you're not even meant to be out of your bed. You are very much in disgrace, remember? Uh, it was 30 degrees in Tenerife. Nice. I might come out and join you. Uh, just checking. I haven't missed anything. Everybody's, oh, Andrea's, Andrea's in. Good morning, Andrea. I did miss you coming in. You snuck in the back door then I wasn't looking. Buckle says I'm back from the indoor boot fair. I've got some nice bolos. Lovely. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've missed anything else. Oh, Lex is laughing at what Kai in his cone of shame. Hopefully he won't have to have it much longer. He's nearly healed, so hopefully that'll come off soon. And then also it's my bag of filler bag for £3, a BT decor phone, and that'll probably just go for a tenner. It needs a clean-up. It's a bit grubby, but I've sold these before. They're an easy sell. And if you fill in a bag, you fill in... Oh, one last thing. If you fill in a bag, you just chuck it all in, don't you? So, one last thing. Ted Baker, tiny floral notebook with attached pen. This is actually a really nice little notebook. Um, it's got an elastic binding. Yeah, it's a pretty little notebook. It says Ted Baker on every page, just in case you forget where you bought it from. I do like the little attached pen. That's nice. I may just end up chucking that in my handbag if it's not worth a huge amount of money, because it's a pretty little thing. And, um, and I could just chuck it in my handbag and never use it, couldn't I? Claire Jane says, what did Molly chew this week? This week Molly has chewed the banister. She has chewed the front of the windowsill. And we have come home today and been unable to get into the house because she has pulled down the unit behind the back, behind the front door, so that we couldn't open the door properly. So Anthony had to clamber in to um to put stand the unit back up so that we get in. So um yeah, 
yeah, no, it's Kai. It's Kai's in the cone of shame, and he's fine. He's uh, he's all right. Lisa says she wants a Ted Baker notebook. Give me a message, Lisa. We'll talk about it. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, Molly is in disgrace, and she's supposed to be in her bed, aren't you? Supposed to be in your bed. She's like, well, I am, but I'm not going to my dad. Buckle, I got three Zizzle alien toys for two quid that go for twenty pound each, and they block must block. I can't speak. A blockbuster. Blockbuster videos, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles mug brand new in box. Lex will want that. Even for £60 on that. That seems um, that seems loads. I mean, I know nothing about that and I'm sure you know your stuff, but I hope you get it. I hope you get your price. I then, after my filler bag for £3, I spent £2 on two vintage flannelette candy striped sheets. I've sold these in the past. In fact, I've sold them so recently that they've already been listed because I just hit the relist button on my sold item on the way home. So they're always a nice sale. Good morning, Zaheer. Nice to see you. I, I was, I've already said good morning to Shazad. He was here earlier. Um, okay, I don't think I've missed anyone. Well, if I've missed you, good morning. I'm sorry. Sorry to have missed saying hello to you. Three for a pound stall where Josh couldn't find anything he wanted. I don't know if you're, up, you're watching yet, Josh, but, you know, she is very chewy and I don't know what to do with her, Claire. I'm, I'm, I'm reaching the end of my um, inspiration at the moment with what to do about the problem. I wonder about just getting her some bones. I, I, I'm not a big fan of giving dogs bones. They're not supposed to be very good for them, are they? I think it's cooked bones are worse, if I remember rightly. Cooked bones splinter more or something like that. Kath, you've got dogs. I bet you know. I bet Kath knows. Um, but yeah, something just to occupy her a bit more. Because she's plainly bored when... Oh, she's still young, isn't she? Anyway, um, three for a pound. This is from the petting zoo, which obviously means something different in wherever this is from. Um, and it is a large snake. Still got his tags on. His original price for the petting zoo was 19, 19 euro ninety, which is why when I was doing three for a pound and I got two things I wanted and I couldn't find a third thing, I, ch I thought I'd chuck him in. But he's a a full on stuffed plush snake. Somebody will like snake. Oh, raw bones are fine. Thought thought so. Let's just take her teeth out. <laughs> Thank you, Kath. I knew you'd know. So yeah, maybe I'll get her some raw bones for the butcher. Maybe that'll keep her busy. Oh, they've changed the way Super Chat works. Oh, how fab. Now, you know, every week I've been complaining that if people Super Chat, I'm not complaining that people Super Chat, that sounds really rude. <laughs> complaining about StreamYard in that if people Super Chat, you can't see that they've done it. Um, and they've changed it because now I can. So thank you so much to here. So here's just very generously Super Chatted five pounds. And this is how dog loves his bone, but yes, they should not be cooked. I thought I remembered that they shouldn't have cooked bones. Our previous dogs didn't have bones at all. So, yeah. So um, thank you so much for that, Jahir. Gosh, I think I've got um, Sean Connery's teeth in again. Thank you so much for that, Zaheer. And I will, yeah, I'll, I'll get them some parts. That'll keep her busy, some bones. I'll go to the butchers. I'll find a butcher's. There'd be some butchers somewhere. Kai, can you stop crying? He's playing and crying. <laughs> Good morning, Shirley Boland. He says hello from Australia. Uh, Zoe Patrick says pepper in water and just spray on the item she goes to. It works for my mum's dog. It, that's the entire house. I'd have to spray the house. I bought some special dog off spray, some nasty, supposedly bitterly bitter cherry flavoured spray. She loves it. She absolutely loves it. So that backfired. Catherine says, Karen's watching now thinking how much damage is Princess going to do? Princess might not be a nightmare. You never know. Zaheer said when he super chatted, he wanted to send the message boobies, but it wouldn't happen. Tell you what, Zaheer, I'll put your boobies on the screen for you. There you go. <laughs> oh, dear. Excuse me. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, Andrea said... Oh, Joe Davies is in. Hi, Joe. Andrea says, we complain to stream out every week too. This is great news. I think this is brilliant news because it's so generous of people when they super chat and you're horrified at the thought of missing it and not saying thank you. So I'm really pleased they've changed that. Claire Plant says, how about a Kong? You fill it with paste and treats. Could keep her busy. We've, we've got Kongs. She goes through them in no time. And um, yeah, I, I think you can freeze those. That's something I haven't tried. Somebody said to me, you can fill them with paste and then freeze them, and that take a lot longer to work on them. So that's another consideration to freeze it. Uh, where are we now? Oh, Lex is, Lex is singing back at Kyla. Oh. <laughs> Catherine says, yay, we got to see these boobies. <laughs> Uh, 
Carmen says we were so lucky with Monty. He chewed one slipper and a charging line when we first got him. Then we got lots of chew toys in his sock. She's got two massive boxes of toys. I buy her new toys all the time, as you've seen in my hauls. She's just a nightmare. And Lisa says, have you thought about using a muzzle on Molly? Not the nicest thing I know, but if all else fails. It is, it's, an, it's another consideration. It's on my list of possibilities. And I know that a lot of dog trainers would say you need to crate her, but Anthony tried crating her. We tried going back to the crate while I was on holiday and she messed in the crate and then got covered in the mess and got very distressed. So that's not um, not the ideal ideal answer. Good morning, Thailand Heron. Zaheer says his boobies are magnificent. magnificent. Look there. Can you get out of the carrier bag, you silly dog? As he says, they are rather magnificent, if I say so myself. <laughs> okay, so I, I was doing three for a pound, wasn't I? So we had the snake, and then I had these two comforters. This one I've not seen before. This is a heliflump, and it doesn't seem to have any tags on it. No tags at all. No tushy tag, no no wash tag, nothing. So um, I don't know what, what make that is. If anybody knows, let me know. Save me researching it. You can all do my work for me, you know. And then this one is... Um, I've got a feeling this is like a B&M or something. Oh, Lord. Take my glasses off. Moon and Stars, I think that says. Moon and, yeah, Moon and Stars Comforter. I don't know where that's from. TJM Limited, so that will be like Home Bargains or something like that. So that one, I think, I think your cow is cow, isn't it? So three for a quid on those. There's bound to be some money in those. The snake alone should um, should pay for those and, and more. Oh, DBG says you can't muzzle a dog when you're not in the house. That's true, because you don't know what's going to happen. I suppose that's a... Yeah. Uh... Laney's in. Good morning, Laney. Lex says, can you muzzle people? <laughs> okay. Phoebe says, I had a dog many years ago and she was diagnosed with separation anxiety when she tore the place apart. We gradually trained out of her and used rescue remedy when we went out. I don't I don't know if she's distressed or, or just naughty, but I'm, I could definitely give that a go. You just put a couple of drops in her water. I could give it a go. She doesn't seem to be distressed particularly, just, just bloody nightmare. <coughs> Mike's graphics is in. Good morning, Mike. <coughs> Mike is back in hospital and still in there, as far as I know. I do hope they let you out soon, into the community again soon, Mike. Which hospital are you in? Send me a send me a message, Mike, with um with your hospital and room number if you don't mind, and we'll um we'll see if we can send you something to to um alleviate the boredom. Okay. Um, now people are talking about paying to muscle men. <laughs> Not to muscle men, to muzzle men, to muzzle muscle men. <laughs> okay, um, there's not a lot else coming up. Oh, I bought jewelry. Now, Lex is going to tell me that it's either worth 11 million or bloody bug all. There should be seven things here. That's five. Bear with, bear with, bear with. Six. Where's number seven? Oh, seven. Okay. Now, they're all individually baggied, which means, you know, that obviously means they're worth a fortune. I got. This one, which looks, I don't know what the heck it is really. It looks like a piece of paper set in resin, or maybe it's an actual, it might be, no, it's an actual dried, it's an actual dried poppy head, poppy head flower, poppy flower, flower, flower head, poppy head flower, set in resin with a brooch back glued on. Mandy says, don't send Mike some nudes. <laughs> that won't entertain him at all, bless him. He'll end up staying in hospital. <clears throat> Donna says, could you use a stair gate so she only has access, access to one room? We're closing all the bedroom doors. Um, there is no kitchen door, so it will have to be a stair gate. But I think she'll jump over it into the kitchen. She's not. She, she's only destroying one room, really, and the, and the hallway. <coughs> Excuse me. Fandria's in. Good morning, Fandria. Um, Lisa says, you're going to send Mike a whole list of items he can list for you. That's yeah, I'll send you a box of work. <laughs> Yeah, and Lainey says maybe because her breed is a working breed, maybe she needs more stuff to work her brain. Shell says, good morning, what's all this? Rubbish mostly, Shell. Just me waffling on. Oh, dear. Excuse my nose. So, yeah, that one's an actual poppy flower set in resin. Come on, Shell. I'm waiting, uh, uh, Lex, I'm waiting for you to tell me they're worth a fortune. This one is... <coughs> this is... What is this, Lex? This is... I never pronounce it right. Is it Clausenet? Is that what? It's, is that how I pronounce it? If you write it down, please write it phonetically for me. I think it's pronounced Clausenet, but it has an unusual back. So is this a brooch, Lex, or is it something else? It just has like a clip. <coughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry about the cough, everybody. I wouldn't believe how sorry I am. Yeah, 
Cheers, no good writing it, Shell. I know how it's spelled. I need it written phonetically. And yet Lex has done it as well. I know what it, I know what it is. I just want to pronounce it. Is it Clausone? Is that what it is? Okay, and then, now there's loads of people saying scarfing, 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 shoe clip, scrape tie, scrape tie. I don't know what a scrape tie is. Mandy says for a scarf, Shell says for a scarf. So we've established scarfing then. Yeah, so, um, oh, there's a tiny bit written on the back. Hang on, glasses off again. Sea Gems UK, it says. S E A as in going down to the sea. Sea Gems UK. Oh, dear, my nose. Yeah, Clos on A, so I was pronouncing it right. Okay. Um, so, yeah, no idea what that's worth. Lex, tell me it's worth millions. My nose. And then this one is also, I think, good morning, ads. I think this is also Clos on A as well, although I'm less sure about that. Might just be enameled. I don't know what the difference is. That's very pretty leaf brooch. Again, no writing on the back, just an ordinary pin fastener. Oh, late Claire here. Claire count four, I think. Good morning, Claire Borden. Lex says Sea Gems is a decent plan, so that's good, but six to eight quid. Catherine says she lists scarf rings for £10 best offer. Did I say good morning ads? I did, didn't I? I remember thinking good morning ads. Don't know whether I said it out loud. This is another scarf ring then. If we've established those clippy bit back back clippy back bit back bit back bits of scarf rings. Simulated pearl with a clip back. And this one is from Tyrac. Because it says Tyrac London on it, and that gives it away. Oh, Lex says she sold a similar leaf for about a five. Oh, I didn't tell you how much I paid for these, did I? I got all seven for a quid. So um yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right there, aren't I? If the leaf will go for a fiver. <clears throat> and then, is this one a brooch as well? Oh, this is a, 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 dangly, a brooch with dangly bits. I don't really understand a, a dangly brooch. A bro it looks like it might have one lot of dangly bits missing. So it's a pearl, simulated pearl drops again. Whether I've got it the right way up or not is anybody's anybody's guess. It's got a pin back. I can't work out which way up it's meant to go. I, it surely must go the other way. It doesn't hang nicely that way up. Maybe this top one isn't meant to have anything fastened to it. I don't know. What do you think, Lex? Millions of pounds? Eleven million pounds? Twelve million? No markings on it again. This one looks older than the others. I did not order that poncho yet, um, anyway. But when, you know, when I've got when I've got some money, I'm very much considering it. Things are a little bit squeaky tight around here at the moment. Where are we? Um, Zahir says he'd say about eight pound or thirty-five thousand Colombian peso. Fun stuff's in. Good morning from Texas. Good morning, fun stuff. <clears throat> Lisa says she thinks C James is connected to St. Justin Cornish jewellery, which means nothing to me, but thank you. I will use that when you're looking things up. Um, Lisa says it's not good if your dangly bits are missing. <clears throat> I'm not really getting into jewellery shell, but I saw it and because Lex wasn't there, I bought it on on bought it in the spirit of Lex. But I don't understand jewellery and I'm not really that interested in it, if I'm honest. Lex says 1950, so that's ancient. See, that's very, very old. This is not a brooch. This is a weird dangly bits necklace. Um, it's got the lobster claps clasp. My Lex told me that that means it's not old. I think. I think lobster clasps are newish, aren't they? Is that is that what you said, Lex? But again, no markings whatsoever. All the dangly bits move. They're all, they're all separate. <coughs> Which is what you want in your dangly bits, isn't it? Really, you don't want them all stuck together. Yeah, Lex says modern. I told you she'd tell me it was all crap. <laughs> and then this last one. I don't know what the heck this is. This doesn't look particularly new. Um, sorry, it's not really focusing very well, is it? That's worse. How's that? They're um the leaves are plastic. 
the leaves are definitely plastic. Good God, camera. This is no good, is it? This is this is quality entertainment, this. There it is. There it is, camera. Yeah, the leaves are plastic. There's a simulated pearl in the middle. Some gold prongy bits. The pin looks reasonably elderly. So... <coughs> But yeah, seven is a quid. Seven for a quid. Lex Rex about eight quid for that. There we go. So that's not bad then for my pound. I, bear in mind there was a lot of stuff there and I just picked out a few bits. There was loads, Lex. She would have loved it. And she probably would have sold the lot to me for a tenner, except that I didn't want it. However, it is the lady up the road. So um, if you want a massive amount of jewellery, let me know. That is the, do you remember I said to you the lady up the road died not long ago and it was her granddaughter who was doing the car boot sale. So... Um, let me know, Lex, if you're interested in me talking to her. <clears throat> Good morning, Jesse. Jesse says I'm late again. You are indeed. Go and stand in the corner, Jesse. <laughs> Good morning, Mel from Sparrow's End, who's even later than Jesse. Jesse, you can come out of the corner and let Mel go in. Am I out of focus again now, aren't I? Bloody hell, Mandy! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mandy, Mandy Michelle, she's always flipping Mandy. Has just super chatted £20 and said, treat yourself. Mandy, you are a star, but that's far too generous. You don't have to send me £20. That's incredibly generous of you. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. I'm without speech. It's such an entertaining live stream because I have nothing left to say because I'm now without speech. Thank you so much. But, oh, my God, how generous is that? You're supposed to be on holiday spending that on ice creams and massages or whatever people. I know that's turkey, isn't it? Good God. Thank you very much, Mandy. Uh, Lex says, um, f -f 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 yes, I want all the jewellery. Call her now, right now. I will contact her for you, Lex. Um, <laughs> she said, I'll send you the cash, and she wants to know if Mandy's pissed. <laughs> good morning, the pin box. Oh, thank you, Mandy. And good morning, Kate Kinder. Kate Kinder says, good morning from New Zealand. Nice to see you there, Kate. I don't know what time it is in New Zealand. It's um, it's 11.41 here, just coming up to lunchtime. <laughs> A message, I'll message her for you, Lex, and, and see what we can see if we can do a deal, do a dirty deal. Okay, um, last couple of bits. Fimble stand, mit fimbles. I've got more German, look, mit fimbles. Avec fimbles, French. <coughs> um, two quid from Steve the car boot guy. He wanted a bit more, but I said to him, in all, honesty, in all honesty, Steve, they're not unusual thimbles. There's nothing there that's particularly exciting. The thimbles themselves have very little value. The rack itself has more value than the thimbles. <coughs> so um, two quid for that. Um, Lex says bon de douche, which um, I don't think that means anything to do with thimbles. <laughs> Kate says it's 12.41am uh, Monday in the wee small hours. You're, you're ahead of us then. It's already Monday where you are. Ugh, Monday. Ugh. <laughs> good morning, Steve of the Steve Green Adventure. And good morning, Drug, Drug... I can't speak. Good morning, Drugs Bunny. Um, Drugs Bunny should have gone to Specsavers. Oh, Mike sent me his, his ward and his hospital. So if anybody is interested in uh, helping me send Mike a little happy parcel, then let me know. And we'll we'll get some stuff together. At this rate, he's still going to be in hospital for another fifty years because they don't seem to want to let him out. They must like you so much, Mike. They must like Mike's graphics so much that they won't release him into the um into the community. So if anybody wants to send Mike a little something, we'll coordinate that. You can send it to me, and I'll send it on to Mike. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? That'd be nice. We can send him a little um Red Cross parcel. Okay, what have I missed? Any have I missed anyone? If anyone's come in and I've missed you, I do apologise. Shell says she sold both of her thimble prisons. <laughs> And then also from Steve, the car boot guy, I got a Radley handbag. It's not in the best of health. There's a little bit of damage here, but it is um, one of the one of the Radley oil skin ones, which are quite popular. It hasn't got its um, hanging dog, but it's fairly clean inside. So I'll give it a wipe over. I'm not sure what would have caused that damage. It's an odd, odd little patch of damage there, as though it's almost as though it's melted against something. I wonder if that's it. I wonder if they put it against that. I wonder if they had a dog that got to it. Who knows? But yeah, that was three quid. So I think that's the lot. Yeah, that's my purse that I took with me. That's the whole haul and nothing but the haul. So not much, but then I'm not meant to be buying much, am I? Let's face it. Um, 
yeah, financial constraints are, are a bit um, something at the moment. And I'm not supposed to be buying a lot of stock because I do have a lot of stock. However, I'll just show you guys over there. All of that now, that part there is now all listed. So I have been cracking on and getting some listing done recently. Um, as, as I think I've told you all numerous times, it's not all going to the office at the moment because it seems silly to take it to the office and bring it all home again. But it does mean that there's no system in here and I'm struggling to wonder how on earth I'm going to fit the office in here. So um, I'll just see if I've missed anything. Everybody's saying hello to each other. Uh, maybe Molly did it. Maybe Molly damaged the bag, yeah. Drugs Bunny says, how much did you spend? I spent... Three pound on filler bag, five pound on the handbag and the thimbles. That's eight. Two pound on the sheets. That's ten. A pound on those three is eleven, and a pound on the jewelry is twelve. I think that's everything. Filler bag, three pound. Eight pound, nine, ten, eleven. I spent twelve pounds. That is three times what jo what young Josh spent. Josh spent four quid. Cal says the CD racks won't look good. I don't know if you, I, got, I think I put them in last week's waffle. I picked them up at the charity shop. It was kind of like they were a tenner each, which is an absolute bargain for the I IKEA racks. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with those. Joan says more shelves, maybe. Um, Joan, at the office, I've got one, two, three, four, five, about seven Calax units. And they all have to come back and come into this room. So there certainly will be more shelves. <coughs> it's not the shelves that are going to be the problem it's all the stuff that isn't shelvable that's going to be an issue but um it'll be what it'll be and it'll fit where it'll fit and if i can't move in here i can't move in here I just need to sit in this corner don't i just fester away in this corner mike says i even put the hospital address to get a new lead for my phone the other day on my amazon account that you it's starting to feel like home for you isn't it mike i'm sorry you're stuck in there it's very dull isn't it um but yeah um yeah, I see, I see you've sent me a message. Drop me a quick message and uh, and let me know what, what kind of stuff you're into doing, and then we'll see what we can we'll see what we can gather together to keep you busy in there. Shell says, "How's Josh getting on with his egg cups?" I don't know, and he should be here. He was supposed to be going home from the car boot sale and tuning into my live stream. I think he's gone home and gone to bed. Joe Davies says, "Daft question: What is a shaft height when listing boots on eBay?" I assume the shaft is the the leg part from lip to ankle, so to speak, from rim of boot to ankle of boot. I presume that's the shaft. I don't know for sure, but I would have thought so. Claire James says, has Josh sorted his eBay account yet? Josh is no longer restricted. They sent him a message saying he had successfully appealed. He was like, I did not appeal. You made a mistake and you have realised. But, um, but yeah, so he's... Uh, he is no longer restricted. And Lex says, yeah, Josh is sleeping or packing. Josh says, I'm in bed hiding. He's just popped in. There we go. So were you watching and not talking, Josh, you rude person? <laughs> Julie Posh Totty's in. Hi, Julie. <laughs> oh, Lisa says she's messaged me about the Ted Baker notebook. Okay, Lisa, I'll, um, I'll drop your message back on that one. Oh, Mike says he's diabetic, so no chocolate or sugar stuff. If anybody's thinking of sending me some stuff for Mike, don't send. I mean, by all means, send chocolate and sugar. Just I'll just intercept it and not send it to him. <laughs> just steal all his stuff. That that that'll be fine. <laughs> and Steve, the ever ever helpful Steve Green, says the shaft is between the balls and the bum hole of the boots. <laughs> Don't know where we'd be without you, Steve. I don't honestly, I don't know where the reselling community would be without your help. Sam's in. Good morning, Sam. Sam is reselling Polly. Good morning. <laughs> and Lainey says, I can fester away in this corner with the disowned slugs. If you haven't seen um, Lainey's things, I think it's called Things That Bug Me. Things That Bug Me video. Go and have a watch that. She annoyed, she's annoyed by slugs, so she started squeezing all the juice out of them so they can't be proper slugs anymore. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, dear. Josh says, I missed the first 30 minutes of you talking, it seems. Oops, I only went for a lie down. That's that's a killer if you haven't slept, mate. And Sue says, do a live haul, Josh. It'll only take you a minute. She's got a point. In fairness, his filler bag for £3 was very full. We were worried if we were worried he wouldn't get it back to the car. Laurel says... Oh, hang on, wrong one, sorry. Laurel says, Josh is Ib. What's Ib? In bed? 
Have we, have we got to the point where we're shortening five letters down to two? Because I'm not modern enough for this. <laughs> and yeah, Ian says, thank you, Steve, for that knowledge bomb. <laughs> that really was a bomb. That one hit, hit the conversation like a landmine, that did. <coughs> oh, dear. Anybody want my cough? It's free. Maybe I'll box it up and send it to Mike. I won't send you my cough, Mike. <laughs> and Kat says, don't buy boots from Steve Green. You don't know what you're going to get. Deb Hughes says, Paradox are supposed to be good for a cough. I've got these. I bought these this morning in Tesco Express. Strepsils, triple action, black currant lozenges with hexyl resorcinol. This is why I'm not a chemist. I'm not having to go around all day saying hexyl resorcinol. Relieves pain, fights infection, soothes sore throats. It did relieve the pain. I don't know if it fought any infection. It did soothe my sore throat. But also I was really drowsy after. It doesn't say anywhere on there may cause drowsiness. But I was really blur walking around the car boot, so I couldn't function. I was not a non-functioning human. <clears throat> now, I know this happens to me when I have Sudafed, but I wouldn't have thought strep cells would do it. Who knows? Josh says, he, uh, Mike says he doesn't want my cold. <laughs> Can't give it away. Catherine still hasn't found an orange twirl. I've never seen one either. Oh, Laurel says it was misspelling of in. Ian, but it wasn't short for in bed. Lisa, that is very, very cool. Lisa says, clever salt, slugs and salt is hilarious and probably very cool. That is incredibly cool. Leave slugs alone. They are an important part of our biological what's its. They eat, they eat little insects and they keep our, they keep our, what's the word? They eat our ecosystem. They're an important part of our ecosystem and there's no need to murder them. They're not bothering you. I realise you don't want to pick them up, but just scrape them onto a dustpan and brush and put them back outside or something. Don't kill things. How would you like it if a big giant slug came along and sprinkled a load of salt on you? <coughs> oh dear oh dear oh Taziana says i have a box an orange box of twirl picked up from cadbury world you realize they're worth about a million pounds don't you people were selling them on ebay for i don't even know how much yeah worth about a million quid yeah so yeah you sprinkle all the salt on the hedgehogs and then the hedgehogs eat the slugs and then hedgehogs have had too much salt and then the hedgehogs are ill don't do that Hedgehogs have to have a low-sodium diet. Oh, dear. I think, I don't know what, what this sentence is, Lainey. Is it that what do I still wonder if it at? Is it that what do I still wonder if it at? Should I be reading backwards? At it if wonder, still I do what that it is. No, that doesn't make any more sense. I think Lainey might be drunk. <clears throat> All right, love, see you later. How's Anthony going? Um, Kathy says, only kill spiders. It's a law. Leave the spiders alone. They're nice. They won't hurt you. Uh, Svarazen says, I kill slugs. They have no place in my ecosystem. Ask us if you want to grow vegetables, but they are actually very useful little creatures. And they're just minding their own business. And I just think that they've already got an inferiority complex because the snails have got all the good housing. Honestly, you people are mean. Rotten, slug-hating rotters. Beastly people. <laughs> yeah, Joan Morris says salt, salt instantly disintegrates slugs, so little hedgehogs have no slugs left to eat. Poor hedgehogs. Poor hedgehogs. Oh, Susan, hi, Sue. Sue says spiders eat flies. Very important. Yeah, unless you want your house full of flies, leave the spiders alone. Yeah, absolutely. I've got such a bad cold. I need to blow my nose. And I, oh, hang on, tissue. Bear with. Bear with. Ah. It's not really very blowable. It doesn't feel any different afterwards. Where are we? Daily, uh, Jesse says, leave the, leave the bugs alone. Lex says, spiders will hurt you. They jump on your face like alien face huggers. <laughs> Zahir says, my daughter had a tarantula called Spidey. She was so sad when it died, but I was okay with it, though. <laughs> You really okay with this with the tarantula? Are you okay with it dying? <coughs> oh God. <coughs> I might die. I might die of this cough. You're also horrible to the poor defenseless creatures. They're all here for a reason, even though we might not know what the reason is. They're all here for a reason. Catherine says spiders creep up on you with their eight effing creepy legs. <laughs> Molly creeps up on me with her four creepy legs and I don't want to sprinkle salt on you, do I? 
You're not really a good girl. I shouldn't really be talking to you. You're supposed to be in, dis in disgrace, aren't you? What? What? You're not really sorry, though. This is the thing. You come and you say sorry, but you're not actually sorry that you did it. You're just sorry that I was cross with you about it. That's not, you're not apologising for the right thing. You need to realise not to do these things. Don't eat the jewellery. You need to be a good girl. Yeah, I should go away and think about that. Oh, uh, where are we? Claire says, I just looked up orange twirls on eBay, selling 10 bars for 12 99 Plus 99p postage. There you go. Um, <coughs> Izzy, was it? I think it was Izzy. Or Tazzy. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, my brain's gone. Uh, Mel says, I love spiders. They don't eat my vegetables and they're company in the house during the day. <laughs> Lonely. Oh, Mel, we'll all come around and keep you company. Andrew says, how can you be cross with a face like that? Andrew, if you've seen what she's doing to my house, love, she's at the banister on the windowsill. And everything else. I'm not cross. I'm just very disappointed. Uh, Steve says, we had a slug that would go round our living room, could find his trail the next day, could never catch it. I expect he was living in your cereal boxes. <laughs> Joan says, carefully pick up the spider and liberate it to the outside. I did that and a blackbird swooped down and ate it. That's nature. <laughs> At least you tried. Nobody says to birds don't eat spiders. That's their job, you know. Mel says she gives the biggest ones names. The one living behind the kitchen clock is called Cuthbert. I've got one that lives behind my wing mirror. Every morning I come out and there's another beautiful web that I have to destroy when I get in the car. And Andrew says, oh, disappointed as always. Yeah, when your parents were saying you were not cross, we're just very disappointed. <laughs> oh, dear. <coughs> right. How long has it been? Nearly an hour. Are you bored of me yet? I'm bored of me. I'm bored of my cough. What are we all doing this afternoon? Who's got plans and who's... Oh, God, look at all the chins. I just fold up all the chins. I look like Jabba the Hutt. I'll sit back up again. Who's got plans for the afternoon that they'd like to share with us all? Yeah, Lainey says being disappointed, disappointed is always worse. I always prefer my mum to be mad than disappointed. <laughs> my plans for this afternoon are... Um, draft this stuff photograph this stuff <coughs> get in the shower wash my hair admire my white stripe um and then this afternoon right for this evening right for tammy's birthday meal joan says oh lex says that spider has a holiday home on the other wing mirror we couldn't decide whether it was him and his wife and they got divorced and she'd moved out could we because there was another another web on the other side <laughs> And then Joe says you destroyed the spider's house. No, don't destroy his house. He lives behind the wing mirror. What I destroy every morning is his dining table. Yeah. <laughs> um, Buckaway says John will sell at two. Uh, Mandy says it's a good job you have a handyman in your house. He's not supposed to be in my house. That's another sore point. Zahira says he's going to eat food and stuff. All the foods. Cass says I need to rest my voice. In other words, Cass says bored of the sound of you now. Shut up. <laughs> Oh, Andrea's got family party for Ellen's 18th today. Happy birthday for during the week, Ellen. Uh, Joan wants to know, Mel, does Cuthbert pop out on the hour and chime? Lex is having an eyelash lift tomorrow. Eyelash lift tomorrow. I want one of those. Uh, where are we? Everybody's got a busy afternoon. Joan's trying to organise the chaos that is her house. Fandra's dyeing her hair purple. Lisa's going to be cleaning the lounge, doing some sewing. Mandy's going to Las Americas. Mandy's having a much better day than the rest of us. Oh, Claire, thank you. Claire says, how did Thursday go? I was thinking of your day. Thursday was my father's funeral, and it went exactly as well as you would want a funeral to go. Everything was fine. There were no family dramas. We did get a live bugler to turn up. Well, I say we. I didn't. My brothers, my brothers arranged that. So that was nice. He turned up in the Duke of Cornwall's Light Infantry dress uniform, which was nice because my father was massively proud of being part of the DCLI. Um... I held it together most of the time. I cried when they played the last post, but I always cry at the last post. When it, when it remember Sunday or whatever, always cry at the last post. So apart from that, I managed to hold it together reasonably well. <coughs> By the time it was over, I had a horrendous headache. Um, but yeah, it was it was. He had a reasonably good turnout for a man who was not good at making friends. Said she carefully. It went well. 
Uh, Tess says, this afternoon I'm trying to get back onto Slim World before I block out the sun. <laughs> All the chocolate and wine is mine. Oh, T. Suzanne Davis is at work this afternoon. Um, where are we? Lainey's planted to do nothing. She's got eye ache and face ache. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, Kat says, aren't you helping a friend move or has that happened? The friend is Tammy. We've done part of the move, but she is moving out of work accommodation into a private house. There is no rush for her to move into the private house and she's going to Florida for three weeks on Monday or Tuesday. So we've moved some of her stuff and then she's going to go off to Florida. And because the people who are looking after the work accommodation will need some furniture, the furniture staying there until after the Florida trip. So we've done part of it and the rest of it needs to be done in, at a later date. Oh, Ian says, Carla, I'm not sure these days it's politically correct to mention, but I do like your top and its colours. Thank you very much. It is politically correct to mention that somebody's clothes are nice. You're not allowed to say crack in tits, love. Apparently. <laughs> this is uh, the top that I got from Phoebe at Fin Fashion Plus. If anybody, I'm not suggesting you should get one, Ian, but you know, if that's your bag, you do you. You float your own boat. This is the one that I got from Phoebe at Fin Fashion Plus. It is an Ulla Popkin top. And if you want clothes in a, in a ladies plus size, go and see Phoebe because she does some cracking stuff cracking stuff uh, Cass says she didn't mean I should shut up <laughs> oh Donna's visiting her sister in hospital she's had a new knee I might have her old knee Donna if it's going spare because it's still bound to be better than mine Nat says the sausage rolls were okay at the funeral yeah they went well the sausage rolls were fine <laughs> and Catherine who doesn't care whether she's PC or not says cracking tits love <laughs> Is it the word love that's offensive? Yes, it's patronising. <laughs> um, thank you to those of you who said you were thinking of me. Uh, Claire says, I'm cl clearing a couple of rooms out as having work done next week. Oh, Claire Riley, I don't know if we do. I don't, I've lost count of our Claire count. I don't know how many Claire's we've got. Anyway, thank you. Lisa says, did you make your cartoon you on the... Did you make your cartoon you on the books video? Yes, I made the cartoon me. Ian says, I'm not sure the top is me. For the record, I haven't got banging tits either. I made the cartoon me on an app called Mirror on my phone. And then I went through a very complicated screenshotting and saving and transferring to my computer process. And then I made it into a video, which I was very proud of being able to do because I don't normally have skills. So I was, pr I was proud that I managed it. So, yes, um, it's an app called Mirror if you want to make a little avatar you. They it wouldn't make me fat. They didn't have an obese me, so I've, I've had to have a slimline version. <laughs> Peter's off. See, see you later, Peter. Have a, good, have a good day, mate. And Catherine is now complimenting Z on his besticles. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. There we go. <coughs> Ian said he hadn't got banging tits, and Catherine says Z has. I think Z's gone. I think he's uh, he's going to miss these compliments. I'm, I'll, we'll, we'll make sure he gets them later. Oh, dear. Oh, Ian, um, just for those of you who don't know, Ian, Ian has also lost his mum very recently. It's her funeral tomorrow, so Ian will be thinking of you. I hope everything goes well. Um, again, as well as these things can. And yeah, we'll, uh, we'll we'll keep you in our thoughts tomorrow. It's wonderful, isn't it? Going old and and people disappearing. Dis I th think that's Harry Potter, isn't it? That's disappearing, disappearing or departing. You can take your pick from either of those. I think I made them into one word: disappearing. I'm gonna make out that's a real word. Five Claire's, Mandy says. I did lose count in the class. My nose is bucking up again. Claire says it was a great video. Really enjoyed it. Very professional. Did you feel at Mum's house? The, was that the book video? No, it's filmed in here. It's just there. That's my chair. That's um, probably going to have to be rehomed because there isn't going to be any room in this um, in this room for it. So we'll have to find somewhere else for that chair to live. Another person's house, maybe. Sorry, my nose is really bunging up again. So yeah, um, I've lost my thread. Yeah, I'm going to list this stuff. Oh, Lex says we've got an agreement in our family that no one is allowed to die, especially the cats. <laughs> oh, Elizabeth D says the book video was great and I have more books to read. Thank you. You've been really supportive of my book video. I wasn't sure whether to do it or not. Um, I didn't know whether anybody would be bloody interested in what I read, to be honest. I, I'm always surprised if people are interested in anything I've got to say. Um, but yeah, so thank you for your support. I've had some lovely comments, which I will be working through because a lot of them actually, you know, are, are things that need replying to. So I'll be working through those. And I will do another one next month because I enjoy doing it. So Ian says disapparting. I'll use that one. I quite like it. I'm going to pretend it's a real word. Which was, you know, my mother was disappointed. My mother was sadly disappointed. 
<coughs> Everybody is sending you love and condolences, um, Ian. Claire says she didn't recognise the corner. I wanted to film it in my bedroom, and I literally couldn't face lugging the chair through. <laughs> couldn't face lugging the chair into my bedroom. So I just sat down in the chair where it was. Oh, Phoebe says thumbs up, people. Yeah, if you haven't thumbed me up, do thumb me up quickly. I do. I need. I need a nice thumbing up before you all go. <laughs> Thank you to all of you for saying it was good. Okay, I think the end is near. And so we face the final curtain. Oh, Molly's come to see what I'm singing about. I don't know the next line. We need, we need, we need something, something of this, I'm certain. I have something and something, something and doobly do. And something or other. I don't know any of the words. And so, and do, do. I did it my way. That's the only thing I know. Why don't I know the words to I did it my way? Much more, did I, what did I know the words to last week? Discovered I don't know the words to anything is what we're discovering, isn't it? Molly's back. Rubble's back. Guess who's back? Molly's back. Back again. Tell a friend. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, Molly. I'm not a rapper. Guess who's back? Molly's back. Molly's back. Molly's back. <laughs> Look on her face. Look on her face was a cracker. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <coughs> Lainey's got a pile of books she needs to reach. Can't seem to get into it. Please don't knock my drink over, you absolute wrecking ball of a dog. Lisa says, what was that series where the old guy sat by the fire in a wing back and read horror stories? Tales of the Unexpected, I think. Is that the one? <laughs> and Joe Davies, who is clearly insane, says, Steve Green, when are you posting a video missing your wit and intelligence? Bless her. <laughs> okay. Okie dokie. I don't think I've missed. Oh, I have missed. There we go. Lisa Fenn. My little foster cat Maisie is on her way. I just got diagnosed with kidney failure. I'm sorry, Lisa. The one thing with animals is at least we have the power to make the decision when it needs making rather than. Sorry, I've got hiccups. Rather than having to um, wait like we do with humans. Kath Palmer says, Molly thinks you've lost the plot. You could tell by the look on her face. She was like, doing, mother. <laughs> oh, Lisa says she had a terrible life before she came to me last year. She couldn't eat until she had a lot of teeth removed and lived much longer than expensive. She's 18 years. That's a good old age for a cat, isn't it? Mo's 20 now and um, she's doing well. So, um, yeah, Lisa, you've you've made you've made this little cat at the end of her life much happier. And, um, and, yeah, and when the time comes, you'll make the right decision and you will have the... The, the satisfaction of knowing that you had the integrity to help and that you helped when it was needed. So it's hard, isn't it, with animals? It's hard with humans, but it's hard with animals because you, it's a big responsibility, isn't it, making that decision for another another living soul. Oh, dear, this has taken a turn, hasn't it? Lisa says, Molly would be right. I have lost it. Bandy <laughs> says, please don't go. I'll have to hit the pinas. Pina colada. Do you like pina colada? I don't know the next line to that either. I'm not very good on knowing the next line of stuff, am I? Okay, I am going to have to go because I run out of things to say. I'm boring myself now. I'll be asleep. Plus, <coughs> I need to get some of this stuff drastic. Drasted? I need to get it drasted. Where's my speech gone? I need to get it drafted. And then I need to get in the shower. And then when I get out of the shower, I need to rebuild the house where Molly let it while I'm in the shower. Molly, are you chewing the banister? You were a little bit, weren't you? I heard you. Stop chewing my house. You get splinters in your face, idiot. Okay. Thank you so much for all, for all tuning in. If you haven't hit the thumbs up, then um, thumb me up, dudes. <laughs> um, there are 110 of you watching. Good Lord knows why, but I appreciate every single last one of you. Um, Molly's now licking my hand, which is a bit grim. I'm trying to get the splinters out your tongue onto my hand, are you? Yeah. Don't chew the banister, you knobhead. Um, everybody have a wonderful Sunday. I will. The waffle will be up tonight, hopefully. Actually, the waffle may not be up tonight because I am out tonight for Tommy's birthday. I usually edit it and put it up over the course of the evening. So the waffle may not go up until tomorrow. Um, 
it just depends on how tired I am when I get in. Natalie's got to go to work at 10, so I won't be home late. Um, if I'm not too tired, then I'll do it when I get home, but otherwise it'll be up tomorrow. Everybody enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Ian, we will all be thinking of you tomorrow and hoping everything goes well for you. Um, it won't be an easy day. It won't. It'd be weird if it was. But the reselling community has been massively supportive to me and and i know that they'll have they'll have you in their thoughts as well and i will see you all next sunday with another live stream unless i catch you in the week for any reason take care everybody thank you for watching you are all beautiful beautiful people au revoir avid avid averci avid sane um tarachuk where's the out i can't find the button there it is up there bye